Sonic State here at Superbooth 2019, and we're here with Bitwig. And Bitwig have got a big announcement with the release of, or rather entering beta, I guess, is it, of That's Bitwig correct. version 3. That is right, yeah. yeah. And we, Bit, uh, so Bitwig is now five years older now, isn't it? Yep, yes. So Bitwig Studio 1 came out roughly five years ago. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, as you said, we uh, Bitwig Studio 3 is now out in beta. The mm -hmm. first version of beta is ready for testing. Mm. And the thing that's interesting with Bitwig 3 is the grid. So let's enter the grid. Okay, so the grid, I guess, is you'd load it as a regular device. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So um, it is actually uh, two different devices. Okay. I can just open up the uh, the pop-up browser of Bitwig Studio here mm -hmm. just to insert it into a device chain. And let's bring up grid. We have Polygrid, which is an instrument that is essentially a freely patchable modular system, so you can build your own instrument. Yep. Uh, FX Grid is the same but on uh, audio effects. For sure. Okay. So great. we can open up Polygrid and, and show how it looks. So it lives in the device chain, so to speak. It integrates with yep. other devices, other audio effects, media effects, mm -hmm. etc., etc. And we click this little overview here oh, to okay. open up the editor of. Uh, ah, the look grid. at this. Uh, it's got a beautiful graphical look, I have to say. So you drag and drop modules in? Yes, that okay. is, that, that's right. Well, up, up here we call it the, uh, the, the module palette, which is essentially like a mini browser containing uh, the currently 147 modules, I believe, uh, in 16 different categories. So okay. you'll have uh, anything, the usual suspect like uh, oscillators, uh, different types of filters, mm. uh, envelopes, etc., etc. Uh, also, if you want to go a little bit deeper than that, we also have things like uh, logic modules, math modules etc etc okay now the thing that really blew my mind when i saw it though was the way that the help is integrated into the grid can right. we show can we show that then yes yeah. certainly mm. um so if we select the uh, the triangle oscillator here as an example and we can see sort of what that's happening with the exactly. signal there you, yeah. you see uh right at the moment we're not getting any picture gate information but that will be shown there once you get that and yeah. you also see the signal out and that's very useful to get get this visual feedback see what's going on uh, if we go and click this button over here, that's show help, you'll see that it opens up this kind of help display explaining all the different uh, components of this particular module. That is so helpful. And not only that, mm -hmm. it's actually like an interactive help. Yeah. Well, essentially you still have control over the... Uh, Oops, excuse me. The different uh, parameters in the module, so you can still kind of fiddle around with Look things. at that. An interactive manual. That's a, that's really really good. I love that. Yeah. So it's it's um, you know we want to make it easy for people to patch things and quick. So this uh, is a fast way to get things going. And have all of the modules got the help? That's a lot yes. of work. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, luckily there's a lot of redundancy. So some modules are very similar. Oh, so, so you, you can, can just, just copy them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. But then every voice that plays, you can kind of see the the. Like, yeah, yeah. If we look at the if we look at the release, uh, if we look at the envelope. You, yeah. you so if I increase this release time a little bit, you'll see this little tiny white dot, and that represents the voice that is actually now kind of ebbing out yeah, yeah. after it's played. And same is with the attack time. And let's see if we increase the vo number of voices for this patch. We go into polyphony. We should see. I play a simple chord. Right, great. You see the different voices kind of playing through this envelope. So once you start then adding modules, you can then kind of see the yes. animation yes. where the signal goes. Yeah, that's correct. So mm -hmm. uh, what we wanted to do with the grid is to give a very visual kind of environment to work with. So you always get this visual feedback so you know what's going on. Another fine example of that is how we treat modulation. So if I can just show you a really quick example of that. If I bring in an LFO module, uh, first of all, you will have like a modulator output which you can patch then in this case to the uh, pitch input of the oscillator. But we also have this modulation assign button. And when we click that, uh -huh. you'll see that all the parameters light up differently and you can start assigning anything. Oh here, yeah, so multiple destinations. And you also get this kind of blue modulation display thingy uh -huh. to tell you what's, what's going on. Nice. Um, so speed and workflow are two concepts that we want to build into this thing. Um, I can just show you a very quick example of what we mean with that. So let's say I want to add a filter to this patch. I can just drag it in 
normally I would just go in and say, okay, I need to patch the output of the oscillator into the filter and the output of the filter into the etc. Well, you could do that, but you could also just drag it in on the patch point and it will be added automatically. So uh, and the patch, the chords will be drawn for you to just speed things up. There will be no interruption of the sound or anything like that. It will just continue flowing. So I'm kind of curious to see how, how, how big the grid could be. It can be humongous. Okay. And, uh, and, and you can totally choose where everything goes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, there, there are different ways of approaching kind of the modular uh, paradigm. I mean, rack is a usual kind of concept that people work with, and that's something that we thought of as well. But in the end, we say, why limit ourselves to just working in those dimensions when you can wor work in all directions, so to speak? So the grid allows you to build your patch in all directions. Uh -huh. And it's very open in that sense. And I can just, oh, excuse me, the uh, touch integration is not perfect in this first beta. I this is say. a little yeah. Bit, yeah. Yes. And down below, if you look here, you have kind of this overview of, ah, of your there patch, we go. which allows you to navigate the patch and also get a preview of ah. how the patch looks. Can, uh, if you f fire some sounds out. OK, yeah, great, yes. And yeah. I can open up uh, a little bit more sophisticated uh, patch just to show you how yeah, yeah. that will look. So uh, let's start actually with this guy. A very simple patch. It sounds great, although you can't hear it. <laughs> uh, but just to show you that it doesn't have to be super complicated, that can be very simple, so, yeah, still yeah. sound good. Yeah. And then we also have something like, like this here, for instance. As you can okay. see, this is a little bit more Oh, wow, complicated. getting very complicated now, yeah. yeah. And this is essentially just a, a drum machine with built-in sequencers and different voices and all sorts of things. Mm. So it can be what you want it to be, it can be simple, it can be super advanced. Right, and, and I guess that with the touch integration, what I, once that's kind of, um, you know, a little bit... You can pinch and pinch, zoom... Yeah, that's, that's planned to be uh, implemented. Right, right. It's not working at the moment, no, that's cool. but that's for the, for the uh, next next bit down. So Bitwig has really embraced, uh, obviously, PC only with a touchscreen, but, but Bitwig is uh, Mac and PC. Yes. Well, we uh, work on all three major platforms. Oh, and, and Linux too. Linux as well, yeah, of exactly. Course. So really, Apple, get your, get your acting gear and give us, touch, give us a touch interface. It's not fair. You know, the PC yeah. guys are kind of getting a little advantage yeah. there, aren't they? Yeah. But saying that, I mean, it still runs great on a Mac. But uh, OK, so I think that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. So it's just entered beta. So that's correct. Any ideas roughly when we'll be coming out of it's difficult to that? That's very so, difficult to say at this yeah, point. Okay. We're only three days into the beta testing. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. But we, uh, we hope to be able to release within a couple of weeks, oh. four to six weeks, okay. two months. Right. Don't ho uh, you know, hold me accountable no, 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 to that, fine. please. Uh, people but, will uh, understand. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big undertaking. Yes. Okay, well, that's amazing. So that's bit week three. And uh, thank you very much. My pleasure. Awesome. Thank you for coming by. Thank you.